we really enjoy snake content. So here we are with another video. If you're here for the first time, you should definitely check out some of our other videos. But as for today, we focus on Titanoboas. Hi, hello fam. Welcome back to the channel. Have you heard about the Titanoboa snake before? This snake is one for the record books, with its known history as a true terror to humanity. Before we hop right in, here's a subtle reminder to like this video, subscribe, and share it to whomever you think likes these types of videos, just like you and me. Also, for those who may have just landed on this channel for the first time, hello, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on the post notifications to know when we upload a new video. Okay, great. With that out of the way, let's get into why Titanoboas are terrorists, shall we? The Titanoboa has many wonders. In fact, in this video, we'll be sharing a few fun facts about them. I think it's best to start out with the fact that these genus Boini are currently extinct which is probably why they aren't on a lot of top 10 lists. If they were, they would be one of the biggest and most dangerous snakes alive. The Titanoboa was a very large snake that lived in La Guajira, North Colombia. It is an extinct genus snake that lived about 58 or 60 million years ago. The Titanoboa snakes washed up on the face of the earth many years after dinosaurs were officially declared extinct. There is a large myth that these two reptiles lived in the same era and even contravened with dinosaurs, but it's just not true. Because these snakes lived in the Paleocene epoch, it is clear that they never got to meet any dinosaurs, but instead lived at their own time. The largest snake ever discovered was a Titanoboa, and its species is the Titanoboa serigonosus. Scientists placed the snake into the Boidae family along the lines of the anaconda and boa constrictor snakes. Description Archaeologists estimate that these snakes were around 42 feet long, with a weight of 1,134 kilograms. It's extremely hard to accurately describe the physical appearance of a titanoboa, because the only people who may have been able to see one are no longer able to explain it to us. Either way, anacondas are the closest things to knowing what a titanoboa looked like. Titanoboas are assumed to be the bigger versions of anaconda snakes because they were close relatives to them by species. What we can tell you about them is that most of their weight was in the middle part of their body. It's also believed that the snake had dull colors which helped them blend into the environment and remain undetected. Habitat like we said earlier, these snakes lived in America, in the prehistoric jungles which are now what we all know as Colombia and Peru. The habitat of Titanoboas experienced lots of variables like spiraling temperatures and high humidity levels, which made it extremely easy for cold-blooded reptiles like Titanoboas to grow as big as they were. With their size, moving around on land was a challenge so they mostly spent time in marshes and swamps, as do their close family members, the anacondas. Titanoboas as terrors on Earth The Titanoboa snakes in waterline areas mostly hunted other animals around the area. From fossils, scientists have been able to note that these snakes fed on a lot of fish. Other than fishes, another favorite prey of theirs was serpents. Yep, they ate serpents too with no remorse whatsoever. They adopted the crocodile's hunting methods by blending in and catching their watering area victims unaware. Once the prey's head was close enough to the snake, it pounced on it while snapping its fierce jaws around the prey's neck and dragging it into the water long enough to drown it. Fun facts about the giant Titanoboa. The first description of a Titanoboa happened in 2009 which was about five years after its excavation. The Titanoboa has more than 250 vertebrae, with just one more than twice the size of an anaconda's vertebrae. The gigantic size of the snake is attributed to the climate of Paleocene. Titanoboas were carnivores. If you watched our top 10 biggest snake video, then let me tell you, 
The titanoboa is twice the size of those and any other big modern snake. Although they are quite like anaconda snakes, titanoboas didn't hunt like them. Modern snakes, anacondas included, hunt by wrapping themselves around their prey and killing them through constriction. Titanoboas instead captured their prey with a sneaky one-time strike, aiming at their jugular and drowning them as best they could. Before titanoboas were declared the largest snakes to have ever lived, the standing snake was the Gigantophis, aka the prehistoric snake with a length of 33 feet. The thickest part of a titanoboa was 3 feet at the diameter of its body. Titanoboas shared the same habitats with the giant turtle Carbonemes. We know this because fossils of the turtle were found close to fossils of the titanoboa. They lived in a very hot climate area after a giant meteor was believed to have struck. A life-sized model of a titanoboa snake was once displayed in the Grand Central Station in New York City. In the year 2012, the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History featured an exhibition called Titanoboa – Monster Snake. The titanoboa was a scary-looking huge animal, but there are literally no official records of them ever harming humans. They fed primarily on fish. It's quite unfortunate that all of the details on the titanoboa are quite limited as we would love to know way more and trust that you would too. In any case, you can understand how special and interesting this animal was. A titanoboa is hands down the biggest snake to ever exist, and no other snake has been able to beat that record yet. Again, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment for this intriguing animal. And dear pet owners, no, you could not keep one, even if you tried. Remember to go ahead and check out some of our other videos while you wait for a new one. Remember, only those with post notifications will get notified. See you next time!